Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Wowhead Weekly number 121. 7.25 is still on the horizon, and we have a new Murloc in game, all sorts of stuff. But before we get into that, I would like to introduce my lovely co host, Wowhead Site Manager, Perkelia. Whoa. Hey, everyone. What's that, up? That Whoa. is. That is. Whoa. That's not me. That is not wow. you. <laughs> well, there she is. She's right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no idea there what's I going am. on with that. This is what happens when I try new things. I don't know. I think it's capturing the wrong screen. Whatever. No big deal. No big deal. Here we are. Okay. But here's Perk. Hi, Perk. Hey. Hey, hey everyone. Pepe's are here. I'm here. We have a new Murloc that's here in the background. We, um, we have Overwatch stuff. We have new merchandise to talk about. We and do. we even have some new Wowhead stuff going on with the front page. We so, do. Yeah. We and do. We should keep our stuff first. and then Yes. Yes, I'm going to flip it over to you, actually, um, on a different frame to talk a little bit about the Dark Moon Fair stuff that's going on, because okay. that's probably the Do most exciting have... thing we have going on. Yeah, I have the video for you and everything. Look, okay. Ready, okay. set, there it is. Perfect, All right. right? Um, it's, is it playing sound or not? Uh, they can hear sound. You can't hear that sound, though. I have no way to feed that back to you. Okay. All right. So, um... The Dark Moon Fair has a new mini game called Blightbore, and it is a death metal music band in a rivalry with ETC. Um, it plays every hour on the half hour, and at the Cauldron of Rock, you will see this uh, performance of all these heavy metal undead. And the NPCs by the area sell beer, undead masks, and dance sticks. And when the band plays, you can fight the death metal knight and get points for staying alive throughout the song, and he can drop all sorts of things like the uh, strange uh, cage helms as well as this cool-looking guitar. Um, and some of the lyrics in the song are also references to Thriller. So I think this is cool because, uh, you know, I, I like the rivalry with the Torn band. This is like the, you know, cool undead band. Um, the area looks really cool. It's kind of got this, like, goth underground cave. And uh, the Something guitar is your mic is making a weird, like scratchy noise. Huh. Like whenever you move your arms, it's like I don't know if you're brushing on it. Are you maybe? Okay. I think it um, might be using your microphone from your headset. Oh, I don't. I don't think there's a microphone that's part of the headset. Move but your arm I again. will. It stopped now. It stopped now. Maybe it was touching the microphone. Go back to what you're saying. I'm sorry. It was like okay. horrible in earphones. I'm sorry. No, um, okay. So for, for the rewards, there are the um, cage helms, um, and they're transmogable for every um, cloth, leather, mail, plate. Um, and then there's also the this um, guitar. The it's called Necromedes, the Death Resonator, and it plays death metal, and it looks really cool. And these are drops from the Death Metal Knight. And there are different achievements you can get, like Mosh Pit and Perfect Performance, um, taking the show on the road. It's really cute. Um, I like having the Dark Moon Fair get lots of additions because it shows that, you know, the area is alive and it's not just like, you know, a static holiday like some of the other parts in WoW. So I like when they add little things each patch. I think 7.1, we got that new fishing route maybe. So it's cute that now we have something in 7.25. Yeah, I like I like that we've been looking forward to these helmets for such a long time and they're finally happening. Yeah. They're yeah. finally happening. So I'm just pumped about that. And I, I don't know, they've been adding little stuff to the Darkmoon Fair for, for such a while now that I feel like people who are kind of just coming back are going to be shocked by how much is going on there these days. Yeah, um, you know, there's all sorts of new toys also from this event. There are these undead masks you can get. Um, so I, I think that's cool. And so that the Darkmoon Fair is so packed with stuff to do. Um, it's really different from how it was in Classic Lab when it oh, was just... Oh, yeah. Like, well, it wasn't you know, really anything. Tents and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't really anything. And now it is... Uh, it's almost like a whole mini event that just comes around once a month. And again, I do... I really do feel like I would like it if Blizzard did more to these like mini holidays and even like the dark moon fair. I just wish there was more kind of pushing people in the direction to go do those. Cause I feel like they're so easily overlooked and there's so much work that goes into them. Yeah. So that's just how I feel though. Um, aside from that, there was a new PTR build and there were some class changes that went live on the PTR for arms warriors and uh, beast mastery and marksman honor talents, as well as new legendaries for every spec. And this isn't the rings. These are other legendaries, correct? 
Yeah, so um, last build we got all the hero legendaries, and this time they added in the tank and DPS ones and, you know, tweaked some of the procs on the existing ones. So it's like 715 when each uh, spec gets another one they can uh, choose between. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, um, you know, we have our overviews also for the class changes and the legendary item setup. So um, if you're like, hey, you know, I want to see all the legendaries from the past two months, or I want to see all the changes from the past two months for classes, we have those posts um, up on Wowhead, so you yeah. can find that. There's all sorts of guides on Wowhead. I'm sure there will be a guide for Chromie. <laughs> yep, she is cute and keeps getting cool stuff. And when you hit Time Lord rank with her, you get the Time Lord title, and the name of the achievement is Chromie Homie. Chromie so, Homie. That's amazing. That's yeah, amazing. so that's adorable. There's pets um, from that you can wear And we too, also right? got a Yeah. Yeah, so um, there is the Ageless Bronze Drake and then the Bronze uh, Proto Whelp, which are two new data mine pets. The Bronze Proto Whelp looks like the time lost um, mount, mm -hmm. and uh, they're actually part of the encounter. Oh, it also looks like the Bronze Proto Whelp. Uh, is real. It's I think it's part of like the it's it's you can get the one from the. Uh, the data is saying that it's from uh, the like Iron Horde invasion from Warlords of Draenor, so maybe this is another way to get it. But oh. um, you should be able to get both of these from the Time Lost Wallet from the Deaths of Chromie scenario. And the Time Lost Wallet is one of the talents you can spec Chromie into when she gets above a certain rep level. It's amazing, Chromie. So, homie. Chromie yep. homie. Um, that was about it from the PTR. You know, like. There's a lot of tomb testing going on, and we've been doing, you know, Fat Bosses previews as well as Tier 20 previews. But, you know, we, we've been previewing that for a while. Like, all that came in 7.2 uh, PTR, so that's not necessarily new. Um, also, you know, keep in mind 725 is not, like, meant to be a huge patch. It's more about class changes as well as, um, you know, staggering more micro holidays and stuff, you know, throughout yeah. the next few months. It's not like, oh, you log on and then there's, like... All this stuff, yeah, because it'll be... It'll be, you'll log on in 7.25, and uh, there's, like, the mini holidays that are coming. There's the transmog competition. But, like, all of that stuff will not be immediately available because it's all time-sensitive right. stuff. And I don't even think the raid will be out immediately, right? There'll be, like, a quest leading right. up to the raid. So, yeah, it's not like there'll be, the class yeah. changes will obviously be immediate. And I think the chromie thing will be available and stuff like that. But most of the stuff is kind of scattered. I thought, I thought this was a really interesting topic of conversation that we had a couple weeks ago talking about how while 7.2, 7.25 is like the most content that's ever been in a patch, so much of it is either limited by time or class or yeah. spec that it doesn't actually feel as much content as it really is. Right. Because like, it's even so if you limited. look at the Mage Tower challenges, um, you know, it's like, oh, we built these seven new scenarios for everyone, but you know, like, you're not going to see, you you will, you will only see, like, you know, like, one or two of them um, if you play a certain class, and that's also, you will only see that if you have done a lot of work with your artifact and you're very good at playing your spec, so, um, yeah. you know, it's a little deceptive, and I think it's a good, uh, it's also interesting how there's a dungeon, and people really miss dungeons in the middle of expansions, and now we actually have a dungeon, and it's, like, being swept off to the side, which is sad, because I really do feel that dungeons enrich the game, and I'm just... It's too bad that when Blizzard finally was able to do one in the middle of the expansion, people, you know, complained the patch wasn't big enough or the dungeon, like, didn't fit into the natural flow of stuff. Well, it's, it's, a, it's kind of back to the whole, I wish they would give people more reasons to do things thing. Right. Like, I think there comes a point where world quests are just not necessarily as compelling. And, like, the only thing that really sends you to go do yeah. that dungeon is the periodic world quest. If they had included that dungeon as something that you have to do on, you know, maybe a couple different difficulties or even a keystone, and it was part of the quest leading up to Tomb of Sargeras, yeah. I think we would be a different ballpark entirely and who knows I maybe they will have a quest like that in 725 that just hasn't been you know data mined yet who knows but i i hope that they do things that keep that content even like karazhan i felt like they don't there's, there's... Oh, karazhan was great how you had to keep killing different bosses to progress further and you got those rings that upgraded and a lot of bosses had little rewards like getting moros as a follower yeah um like incentives to go back and do it um and the timed run as well for nightbane um, you know, there was lots of stuff there. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad example. I take it back. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were like, oh, yeah, you know, they did it with Karazhan and it went well. I was like, yeah, it did well, go well. Well, I just felt like with Karazhan, like, 
it was very separate from everything else in the game. Like, while they did have a I lot guess, of replayability yeah. to it, I, I still felt like I would have liked an image of Moros in, in, not literally, but, like, something along those lines where you see, like, a shadow of him in your order hall that's, like, psst, go Yeah, it would be Kara. nice if it integrated more after the fact. I do think it was good that they had the attunement to go run the other dungeons for Karazhan, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it would be cool if things, like, just were more cohesive. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's kind of what I meant as well, is I just would I would yeah. like everything to be a little bit more cohesive, and that's not necessarily just dungeons. And I think someone in chat made a really good point that Cathedral is so much harder than other dungeons, and then you get into Mythic Plus, and the things, the rewards aren't that much better for how much more right. difficult it is, so there's not a whole lot of incentive yeah. to do it. Yeah. So... But moving on to live stuff and things that there are incentives for. This is yeah. Sporky. He's a little Murloc guy. And we were just talking about him like a week or two ago. Somebody asked. Yep. Somebody Sporky. asked about um about where yep. he was coming from and neither of us knew. And then it just kind of showed up at my yep. house a couple days later. It was really Yeah, random. exactly. I thought, and I need to say this, I think the marketing of this was could have been done better. I think the way it showed up in the launcher when it was like, get a battle pet and a plushie, it made it look at a glance like you got the code for the plushie from, for oh, the in-game pet from buying it. Yeah. Um, but that's not the case. Nope. There's this little guy. Yeah. He's 18 bucks on the Blizzard shop and you can get 15% off with code Wowhead May. And the in-game version is on Seabreak Isle in Western Azuna. Um, which has a lot of high-level mobs and elites there, and multiple Squirkies can be there, and you just fight him, and he's a cute Murloc battle pet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's yellow as well. He's like, he's like a high-resolution Murloc, so some people think he looks a little funny compared to, um, you know, the other Murlocs, but, you know, it's a Murloc pet. That's awesome. You know, yeah, and Murloc pets pet. were previously extremely limited. Usually they were from BlizzCon or some other promotion that was... The only other one you can get in game right now is Turkey, correct? Yeah, Squirky and Turkey. Um, seeing if there's any cool comments. I mean, he's um. Let's see. I'm just I'm looking at it. Yeah, I mean he's a humanoid pet. Um, he has a lot of abilities that the other Murlocs have. He also has some unique ones, including one called For Adventure, which respire in, restores health to all allies, and. Fish Slap, which deals aquatic damage and is strong against elemental. So um, that is a pretty fun name for a pet. Ability. He's just cute. He's just cute. I, I actually think he looks really good as a plush. I don't, like, in-game he is a little bit ugly, but I actually think the colors and stuff yeah. look really good on the plush. He's really cute. He's really I'm, cute. I, I do... just can't reach back to the Murloc, but, like, his butt seems to have some sort of, like, He's got I beans don't know, like, in like, his butt. Beans. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, like, he balances. He has beans. Yeah, his butt. beans in his butt. Yeah, he has yeah. butt beans. So. Um, I think that when they advertise him, they should have advertised the pet that you can go get in game, and then like two days later mention the plush. Because yeah, I think cool. the way that it looked yeah. on, um, I think the way that it looked on the launcher was a little bit deceptive, and I don't think it was intentional. Yeah, it was intentional. And I, I think that more people would have been interested in clicking on it if they didn't necessarily think they had to buy something. Right. So. Um, I do think it's cool that Blizzard was able to keep this a secret and that they just sort of took the servers down and put this pet in and the servers came back up and they do the tech to do these, you know, fancy promotions now similar to, you know, I found Pepe. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping there'll be more cute, you know, things that line up with this. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I and, they, and with Traveler Pepe and stuff, I hope that they continue to make the different Pepe costumes because there's also... I want a Demon Hunter Pepe. Backing because up. Because Pepe is the best. I, and like, I, great. we were talking about this last week, too. It really upsets me that you can't choose Pepe's costume in-game. I know. You have to, like, random through them. Because you know what? I get the Scarecrow every freaking time, and I don't want it. I know. He looks a little scary there. Do not want so. Um In other in-game in live news, there are some weekly events this week. It's Cataclysm Time Walking, which, of course, you can get the Time Warped badges, which can be spent at any of the Time Walking vendors. But as far as Cataclysm goes, you can get the... What is the mount for Cataclysm? Is there a special mount for Cataclysm? There's not a mount for Cataclysm. Weird. There's just um, the Time Warped uh, Dragon, the Infinite Time Reaver that you can get 
from any boss. There's no mounts, uh, but you can get the Gerboggles Gleaming Bauble, the Earl Black Tea, and the Tossel Wrenches Mega Accurate Simulation Viewfinder Toy. Perfect. Just what everybody wants. Uh, well, what's cool too is that I really like that you can use those for other things because it's not just, I mean, you can do Cataclysm Time Walking and you can, oh, you know what it is? During Cataclysm Time Walking, one of the dungeons that you do is a uh, stone Stone core, stone core, and you and get the drink map. out of stone core in time walking. Yeah, exactly. So there's a, yep. there's a lot of opportunities for mounts and pet collectors and toy collectors with time walking, and of course everybody at this point is just really excited for for Black Temple time walking. I Which know, Warglaves. Also will not be coming Please. out right with 7.25 because it is a weekly event like any other time walking. Yep. I mean, that might line um, up. Also... Yeah, I usually Blizzard tries to be pretty good about lining things up when they're new, but then we had Mr. Pandaria time walking like two months after 715, yeah. so I don't know. That was yeah. poorly done. That was a poor execution, but that's okay. Um, there's other stuff as well. The archaeology reward this week is Wormy Tokens. Oh, we can skip the, uh, oh. the Legion Fall thing. My bad. Um, it's take out the head. That was an accident. Three, you have to kill three elites on the Broken Shore. That's not super exciting, nope. but, um, you know, just do that. As a reminder, if you're stuck on relieved of their valuables to find the 10 hidden caches on the Broken Shore, you can do that, then you wait like a few hours, and then you can pick up Take Out the Head. Yep. Um, and you have to keep doing this, so when you finish Breaching the Tomb, you get the class mount quest, and then you can get your class mount in a few weeks. And if you have power ascended, then you can buy additional like mounts or pets or toys as well. Yep, yep. So, I'm uh, um, working on getting my hunter caught up so that I can get the tome that'll let me... The feather manes, the, yeah. Tame the feather manes and stuff. So I want to go do the the island to the Outcast Isle. I'm working on it. One thing yeah, at a time. Yeah, that, that would be cool. Today I did um, uh, my. I was leveling my demon hunter on stream, and I had a reward where I had to dress up like a demon hunter. If you're wondering what all this is about, right. I did not have time to yeah. deal with this in between the two streams. But yeah, so I've been leveling my hunter a little bit. I actually love leveling alts now since flying. It makes it so much like quicker. Yeah. Plus, not only that, but it's with the archaeology, not archaeology, with the artifact knowledge uh, compendiums. Once you actually yeah. do hit like you can one just ten, hit it's so that. quick to catch up. Yeah. It's so quick to catch up. There's a guide for that on Wowhead too, isn't there? Yeah, we have an artifact knowledge page and then in the returning player section we have a whole list of guides and there's one that's like, hey, things you you specifically do to catch up in 7-2. So um, yeah, just go to guides, returning players, and it's there. Yeah. Backing up, I'm sorry, I went off topic. We're going to talk a little bit more about artifact knowledge in a minute, but one of the new uh, mini holidays is also this week. It's the Glowcraft Festival. It is on Saturday, and this is actually a healer challenge. There's like a giant mushroom, yeah. and you have to protect the mushroom and heal the mushroom, and you earn rep with Sporagar the longer the mushroom stays alive. I like that. Yeah. They did a so, um, one. if you don't know, yeah. So, if you don't know what Sporgar is, it's a faction from Burning Crusade. Um, it's these little like spore, weird-looking things in Zanger Marsh, and um, you can um, you start like with like unfriendly with them, and you but you do a bunch of dungeons, and you give them different hibiscus plants, and you get more friendly with them. And uh, there are some cool rewards like this cape, which um, reduces your threat to enemies. The Sporgar Tab, which is a mushroom. And the tiny score bat battle pet, as well as um, needed for the achievements, the diplomat. Yep. Um, and then that gives you the title, actually, the diplomat. Yep. So um, it's cute. I, I like this micro holiday better than the others because I think it's neat that you can repeatedly do it and get some permanent reputation. Um, but it's, you know, for an old faction, so it's not like, oh, you know, I got reputation with Pathfinder. It's, um, it's, know, a it's just for fun. I hope that yeah. they do more of these mini holidays that let you get reputation. We've seen that a couple times recently with Encourage. And then, I mean, yeah. it wasn't a mini holiday, but the uh, Warsong Gulch PvP. That was really nice. Um, yeah. I would love it if they would do this for some of the other older reps because I am certainly not. I mean, we've talked about this before. I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, I worked really hard for that 10 years ago. No one should be able to get it. Like, I, I encourage that. people to, like, go get old things. And, like, I would love to see more people flying around. Like, we, we talked a little bit about the pet from there is a nether bat, another. What is it it's called? It's a little spore bat. It's a spore cute. bat. That's what they're called. Yeah. Well, they, they have mounts for those as well, but they're not from Sporegar. They're from, like, Lower City. <laughs> so I would love to see 
I I'm really sorry, stream, that you can hear my notifications. I don't know why you can hear them. I'm sorry about that May voice line that just popped up. Um, but I would love for them to do more mini holidays that encourage people to get rep that, you know, they could get mounts in pets or whatever from, especially like Miss of Pandaria had so many reps that you could get mounts from. Burning Crusade had so many mount reps. I would just like to see more of that. Yeah. I just want mounts. Um, there's, I mean, we know there's some micro holidays coming up that we haven't been able to test, such as the Thousand Isles Boat Bash. So I wonder if that will be something cool um, because it sounds pretty wild. It does. It's on my birthday. Oh. It's on my birthday. Well, yeah. It definitely should be something. Special. I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just excited that they're doing a healing one. But back to artifact knowledge. So on the PTR previously, the initial cap for 7.25 was 50. But because there is so many ways to get artifact power, it was kind of overkill. So Blizzard made it so that now the artifact knowledge cap will be 40. Um, yeah. Because of all the new ways to get and artifact power. And a lot of people are about to hit that pretty soon. I think a lot of people I'm are pretty at, like, close. 39, yeah. yeah. So um, Blizzard was like, hey, you know, in 7.2, you can get more AP tokens if the Bright Mage Tower buff is up. Um, you know, you can do world quests on the Broken Shore and get the Legion Fall turn-ins. There's invasions, which have those um, really powerful AP rewards. You know, you can get the Command Center mission with a bunch of AP. There's archaeology. And they felt that, like, between that and then the extreme bonuses from AK-50, it would feel a bit... Um, overkill well it you know, would they want for a few reasons it's not even just about like oh that's a ridiculous amount of artifact power to get but like my i'm almost at power ascended right now i think i have like maybe four talents left to fill out like so it's right. like and after that it's all just menial numbers it's not like they don't want people to be piling and piling and piling and right. piling and actually getting a, a significant boost from that because that's not what it's intended to be used as Right, and there are so many alt catch-up mechanisms, like you can just turn in order hall resources to reach 25 and then do a broken shore quest for 26. Yep. Um, and then, you know, at 26, like a world quest item, will, like it will take you to 35 traits really easily, yeah. just do turn-ins, and if you haven't done Suramar, that's just, that's like a huge amount of... Um, yeah, I haven't done Suramar yet on my Hunter, and I, uh, I'm i currently capped. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to do uh, missions and stuff to get to yeah. the next part of my artifacts so i i it's weird because i definitely agree with this i know there's probably people that are upset but like i think it was because the reason that yeah. they had to up the artifact knowledge in 7.2 was because they changed the whole artifact system and your artifact tree around and there were way more points to be distributed but right without more points um, and to be distributed that, you know yeah, like, Blizzard's like, hey, we guys want you to reach Concordance pretty easily, and based on the data, like, we're seeing that a lot of people are reaching Concordance around the 40 level, and, you know, that that's fine. Yeah. Um, so maybe 50 was too much, and it wasn't 50 in the first place, so who knows if we'll see 50 in 7.3 or something. Plus, uh, we'll if they had raised it to 50 in 7.25, that means your alts would have been able to, like, instant 40 or instant 45. <laughs> And yeah. that's insane. <laughs> like, that's insanity. Yeah. Like, I think I'm 38 right now. I might be 39. Or I'm very close to 39. Uh, but, and I get, like, at in raid, I get, like, 10 million artifact power per boss kill. That's crazy. Like, there's no reason yeah. your alt should be getting that. I know. You're going to be like, well, I have all these traits, and, like, what do I do with them? I have a maxed out artifact, and I have never touched this spec. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's actually what's, like, my hunter right now, I mean, granted, I do need to, you know, uh, upgrade my artifact from there, but my artifact right now, I'm in the, I'm in the infinite point. And my art, and, like, I, I haven't done yeah. anything. I've done nothing. No, not a single dungeon, not a single raid, nothing. <laughs> I haven't even done Suramar. <laughs> Dinged 110, <laughs> stopped playing. Um, yeah, so with the infinite point, they also buffed Concordance this week because I think what was going on is that when people started to hit Concordance of the Legion Fall, and they went, hey, like, this proc is kind of not so great after all. Um, so Blizzard uh, looked at the data, and they had the proc start from two, uh, 4,000 of a primary stat up from 2,000, and each point increases it by 300, not 200. Yeah. Um, on the flip side, they nerfed it by 50% in PvP. Um, so it essentially like stayed the same in PvP. Yeah. Um, and the idea was that they wanted reaching that final point to feel, you know, rewarding because that's what you need for power ascended and special amount and pet tints. But, um, and they're like, you know, if you somehow play your main a lot, you know, if you have like one extra point in a cool, like you'll have a little bit more of a, 
you know, boost them before, but it's meant to make the initial point feel like a big reward, and then the other points are just like yeah, the end, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so, oh, so one more note about concordance is yeah, there's class mounts are coming. Um, as a reminder, we do have a class mount overview guide that goes over all the steps. Um, so for broken, basically hit 110, unlock the broken shore, and do breaching the tomb. Um, one step of breaching the tomb requires you to have completed the entire class campaign, so that means the third relic. And if you want like additional mount tints or pet tints or toys like Demon Hunter Pepe, you need to be artifact knowledge twenty six, have your um, and then you know do the quest for the empowered traits, and then hit concordance of the Legion Fall on the right um, artifacts. So, for example, um, you need to hit concordance on the Beast Mastery artifact to get the ability to do the special chains and then you need um like um concordance on like the holy paladin one to get like the a certain tint of that mount so you know make sure you're putting the artifact power into the right weapon especially if you're just leveling the alt for a mount or pet because that would be sad if you put this stuff into thing (laughs) you dumped all of them in for nothing Uh, yep so, so um, moving on. Uh, oh, yeah. So if anybody is unaware, uh, there is an Overwatch anniversary event going on right now. There's three new maps uh, in the arcade mode, the 3v3 lockout elimination, a ton of new skins, uh, new emotes, new voice lines, new sprays and stuff like that. Um, and also, if you do not have Overwatch, Overwatch will be free to play this weekend um, on PS3. Four. Oh my gosh, I almost said PS3. PS4, Xbox One, as well as PC. If you're playing on console, you do need to have Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus. But if you're playing on PC, all you need is Battle.net, which is free. So if you have not tried out Overwatch, definitely do so. It's on sale right now if you decide that you like it. And the event right now is, I, I really like the lockout maps. They're a lot of fun. So yeah, that's that's the thing in Overwatch. Yeah. Just um, one note about the Overwatch thing before we move okay. on. Um, you know, like on WoW, we obviously focus on WoW news, but sometimes Blizzard kind of holds off on one game when they promote something on another game. And, you know, this weekend, there wasn't a lot of PTR news, and there's not a big holiday going on in WoW, and we figured that a lot of our fans are probably trying out Overwatch, so we went ahead and we wrote, like, a mini guide to Overwatch, and people seem to like it, so if you'd like us to do more things in that vein, you know, let us know, and, you know, maybe we'll cover whenever there's, you know, a new hero out or some special... Oh, you let me know if you're going to do that, because I want in on that. I want in on that. I'm down. Okay. A hundred percent down for that. Like, I would totally, I mean, I, like, worked, when the Overwatch event came out, I, like, went into a deep hole for 12 hours researching, like, traditional dances, because I, I want, oh, my God, you have no idea how deep down that hole. Like, I still have the boot scoop boogie stuck in my head from (laughs) looking at so many different dances trying to, like, match up McCree's line dance. And trying to match up, uh, you know, Hanzo has, like, a traditional Japanese dance. And, ugh, ugh, it was amazing and terrible simultaneously. But I want in on it. I want in on yep. that. I will let you know. I think with what we'll talk about, transition, next, um, <laughs> we'll, um, we're revamping Wowhead's front page so we can, uh, we can better showcase the flow of news and more, you know, the higher frequency of news and variety of different topics. So, um you know, we can put in Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm things now and then and not worry that it's, like, pushing weird stuff, you know, off of yeah. the hits front page. Um, do we have any images of the redesign? Or no, can we pull I, it didn't, up I didn't article? know where they were, and I was uh, streaming, so I couldn't ask you. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm terrible. Okay. I'm the worst. Um, okay, well, Wowhead's um, uh, top article right now um, is called Upcoming Front Page Improvements and Survey Giveaway. And um, we have images. Ooh, I got of what... it. I'm bringing the image okay. up right now. I'm bringing right. the image up right now. That wasn't up yeah. when I started streaming. Yeah, we put it at like 2.30 or something. Which I'm really yeah. happy about because I did look. I swear to you, I got all my images beforehand, yeah. and that one wasn't there. So my bad for not checking afterwards. Uh, front page. Here it comes. Browse. And right yep. here. Aha. There you go. There you go. Sorry, guys. Yep. There it is. Yep. So, um... I know a few years ago, it felt pretty drastic when we changed the search box front page into news on the front page. And this isn't as drastic, but 
reviewing it more as improvements and um, we wanted to change a few things. The first was that um, in Legion, Blizzard has a lot more frequent PTR updates and the Wahoo team has also expanded to have more people writing news and community features than before. And news was falling off the front page pretty quickly. Yeah. And um, we just felt it, it would look a lot better if we had this nice little image preview and things looked more uniform and you could browse easily and it had these nice little color-coded banners like PTR and guides. So you, I you could love that. That looks so that. nice. This is the first time I've seen it. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it wasn't there. Like, I did all my research yeah. before my stream okay. trying to prepare. I'm so, like, first impressions, yeah. this looks really nice. I love all the uniform images and the way it's all nice and straight and OCD. I love that. And I like the banners that says what they are, too. And I yeah, think a lot of more on the front page wanted... with this format. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the front page with this format, we're hoping to go live next week with it. Um, but, you know, we just want to get feedback from people first. I um, like it. You know, we just want to, like, surprise people out of the blue. Um, we also moved today in Broken Isles um, up above the news because um, that's, you know, what's going on, like, minute to minute, and it makes sense that would be at the top. Yeah. And we removed the feature boxes because... When we did the feature boxes, we didn't have something like Today in Broken Isles, and, like, a lot of the stuff kind of duplicates itself, you know, like, we have a feature box for Cataclysm Time Walking, it's like, well, that's there in Today in Broken Isles, or, you know, we'll be like, the Mage Tower is up in their guides, it's like, that's also in Today in Broken Isles. Yeah. So we thought we could save some space that way, too. Um, and then we also have these sections at the top for the Blue Tracker and recent news. Um, you know, we have this Blue Tracker for years, which has powered a lot of our Blizzard roundups. And, you know, the news that you see really quickly on Wowhead's Twitter or Discord bot, but not a lot of people sort of knew that we had the blue tracker kind of powering the news. So we decided to put all that information at the top. And then for recent news, we just figured because news is more frequent, people would appreciate just like a text list of, you know, the 10 most recent articles so they could browse uh, stuff at a glance. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's yeah. about it. Um, you know, we the fonts are pretty much the same, but we made the titles and I think bold uh, stand out a little bit more, which I think is good. So, you know, the front page won't look as cluttered. Like there's more kind of like space to breathe in between all the articles. The articles are uniform, so it feels more organized. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Yeah, it looks um, nice. Yeah. We also attached a survey uh, to the article because, you know, we always are wondering like what type of guide we should do next or like how many people use discord and you know all sorts of stuff and um you know it's just good to sometimes get surveys now and then so as thanks for answering it uh 10 of the users who complete it will get a mischief um battle pet and we appreciate everyone that's left feedback or fills out the survey and yeah i'm, I'm really excited i hope this can go live soon um we spent a lot of time like looking at analytics and you know, doing our own personal opinions. And like, I can't wait for the new page to go live. Yeah. I, you know, it, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. I really like it. It looks so uniform and nice. It's so aesthetically pleasing to me. I know. Like, I feel like when we did the front page, we didn't have a ton of videos at first. And then when we started doing videos, it's like, oh, well, like, how do we... Well, and they take up so much down. space in the way that they yeah. are formatted now. This looks really yeah. nice. Yeah, and then, like, if you don't have the video or the image in the old layout, then it looks kind of, like, sad and not very colorful. But this is good how, like, the images are all the same size. And, yeah. um, if and you, there'll like, be an, an image preview yeah. for everything? Yep. That's really um, nice. We have tags for, like, PTR, guides, um, events, um, live, uh, wowhead, um, and, you know, blizzard roundups. Because, um, you know, we, wanted, we, wanted, we thought it was better if, like, the, the stuff we are reblogging from Blizzard is a, is a separate post from, you know, the creative stuff we're doing. Yeah. Because um, that's just better yeah. for organization and, you know, topic discussions. Um, and it's also good for the Discord news bot because, um, you know, people that, if you don't care about the PTR, like, you don't want to see the PTR news, like, mixed in with the blue post news and, you know, vice versa. Yeah, no, it's super nice. It's That's really nice. I like it. I approve, Perk. I Yay. approve. Um in wrapping uh, up so i'll have kitsuki this is if you could send questions to perk now this would be a good time to do that 
Um, and before we answer questions, <laughs> uh, we do have uh, some merchandise codes that we always like to share yeah. with you guys. So the first merchandise code is for Jinx.com. It is 20% off all Blizzard products through May 31st with code WOWHEAD at checkout. They just added a whole bunch of new stuff. Definitely go check it out if you haven't checked it out recently. Again, 20% off all Blizzard products through May 31st using code WOWHEAD also, at checkout. I'm so excited that... Um they have the hoodies coming like the diva hoodie is oh, so cute my god um, so i can't i hope that we get this down code to work on that in the future if it's all like the, of the hoodies hoodie, that are coming so for overwatch are unreal good the diva yeah. one is amazing did you see the roadhog yeah. one yeah that the was, roadhog that was cool. one is i need it i absolutely need it the widowmaker one is really nice they're all really good those I hoodies are the amazing one i i hope the, the i hope the discount codes work on it yeah um, so i hope you know but jinx has been really cool they've I mean, been they really good about that really and they tend to want to give us codes for new stuff i know so hopefully they will but yes yeah, so that's what's going on with jinx yeah. and then for yeah the- uh, before we get into wowhead katsuki said that she didn't have any questions but she did have a suggestion for the front page to add a Warcraft dev uh, tweet feed. Um, we might do that. We actually had that on the front page a while back when Blizzard had like 20 different people tweeting. I was going to then... say, the problem with that now is that like a lot of the devs don't, none of them yeah, tweet they, they officially. Yeah, they stop tweeting. Well, they, yeah. they all have personal accounts and sometimes they'll answer questions there, but none of them like tweet officially. So if you had a bot that did that, I feel like you'd be getting some really weird stuff in the roundup. Yeah, I mean, we could have a Warcraft devs column somewhere but I, I also feel like they're very inconsistent so you know sometimes they go for a week without tweeting and then that's kind of like old news and stale if we had that on the front page yeah wasted waste space um back to merchandise yeah uh, on top of the jinx code that we have right now we also have a code with the blizzard gear shop and that code is wowhead may that will give you 15 percent off all warcraft products which does include the new squirky as well as traveler pepe and they have a whole bunch of new merchandise that just came out um like the azeroth crew neck sweatshirt that you can see there yeah we previewed that a few weeks ago on the show like the cute the cool skirts um, i think it's kind of a weird skirt. time for them to put out a sweatshirt though like i need to just get that off my chest why are we that, releasing sweatshirts in the end of may that's such a strange time yeah because um, i wanted to wear it and i was like i can't wear it it's 80 it's degrees season. outside <laughs> yeah <laughs> so but it's a cool i like crew neck sweatshirts a lot and we live in a world where every sweater is hooded every single sweatshirt is a hoodie and i like to wear sweatshirts yeah. that are crew neck with like a collared shirt like out the top so i really appreciate that and it's got nice like side panels it's a nice hoodie or it's a nice sweatshirt it's not a hoodie goodness um and again that's code wowhead may and you'll get 15 percent off any warcraft products and yes that does include squirky as well as traveler pepe um which are the two newest plushies in the shop right now uh, was there anything else that we needed to talk about that we did not talk about? Um, well, no more. I haven't gotten any questions. Just one more thing I noticed is um, kind of better late than never, but uh, the Mage Tower buff this time is going to finally be reputable, which is the 30% <laughs> reputation game with the Armies of Legion Fall. Oh. Um, so if you are already exalted, you might want to um, still try for the Paragon Cache because there's a cute Felbat pet you can get in the cache every 10,000 rep. And, you know, with this buff, it's essentially 3,000 rep. You have to grind instead of 10,000. Yep. Also, if you um, are in our live chat, this is the last chance for your giveaway. You have, like, two minutes. Yep. Uh, but I, I yep. think you need to stay in chat. I don't know that we have two minutes of stuff. Oh, one minute. One minute left on the giveaway. Uh, but while while they're finishing up the giveaway, thank yeah, you so also much. Yeah, also, give a hand to Katsuki. She's been handling this for the first time because Sass is out at a tour of He's Blizzard, here now. So, um... He got here a oh, little while okay. ago. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, but okay. yeah, thank you guys but, so much for coming and hanging out with us on Fridays and watching our Wowhead Weekly live here at twitch.tv slash wowhead. If you are just tuning in or later on you're watching it, you can of course always watch it at youtube.com slash wowhead and it'll be embedded the next day at wowhead.com. A big thank you to all of and our, we have our subscribers. Coming. What? Yeah. We have another emote coming. Uh, we actually have three new emotes community. coming. I, uh, yeah. I, I'm I waiting for an invoice. Uh, Droskia is going to be doing our next. We try to switch up the artists who do our emotes. We don't want to like be too like favoritism, you know. So we've got some by Noxy. We've got some by Fabulina. We've got some by Ascot the Hero. We have three new ones coming from Droskia. And she is making us um, a $9.99 and a $24.99, which will be a fancy Pepe and an extra fancy Pepe. <laughs> and then the third emote that she's going to be making is like a chibi-style Leroy Jenkins. 
Um, yep. So that's where we're at right now. And then the, the next emote after that is going to be Gammon because we already have Hogger, yep. so we need to have Gammon as well. And we'll probably yep. have Ascot exactly. do that since that he did Hogger. It just seems right that he would do Gammon exactly. as well. And then we'll probably move on and, and get somebody else to do future emotes. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for subscribing to us and supporting us that way. Of course, this is a good time to mention that if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to Wowhead for free using your Prime subscription. If you do exclamation point subscribe in... Um, uh, Twitch chat, it will give you all the information of how to do that um, and all of the different options that you have to do that. And of course, as always, a big, huge, gigantic thank you to all of our Wowhead Premium members. Wowhead Premium is a monthly subscription to Wowhead that allows you to track quests, uh, customize your Today on the Broken Isles, talk in a special color in the comments, and of course, removes all of the ads from both mobile and desktop as long as you're signed in. It is $1 I per have a month. Note too. Yeah, so we're, we can also give premiums. So if you want to give yes. premium to someone in Guild Chat, um, you can do that now. And uh, just go to the premium page, and there's an option to have a gift option. Yep. And you can keep an eye out because various streamers and discords and community figures are still doing some giveaways for Wowhead Premium. So, um, you know, if you are someone in the community and you want to give away a few keys, um, let us know, and I can hook you up with that. Uh, don't want anyone to feel excluded. You know, we've, we've just been reaching out to people that have contacted us directly, but you know, we're happy to give out more to you know anyone really. <laughs> Absolutely, I gave away a couple today. I didn't even tell you about it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I got to get those codes from you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so we a huge thank you to anybody who subscribes to Wowhead Premium. It is $1 per month or $9 per year. It directly supports Wowhead. It removes all of the advertisements from both desktop and mobile. And, of course, it's just it's awesome that you guys are supporting uh, Wowhead's content. So we are going to wrap it up. Oh, my gosh. Congrats. la da 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 do da day She won the giveaway in our Wowhead Weekly Chat. And I recognize her name as somebody who has donated quite a bit of money to St. Jude this year. So awesome. happy to see her winning. So, yeah, thank you again, guys, for watching, and we will see you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel, twitch.tv slash wowhead at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We will see you then. Have a great weekend and stuff. Yeah. See you then. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Bye. There's the button. There it is. <laughs>